Tyson Fury has responded to Deontay Wilder, who a couple days ago said that Tyson Fury probably would and should step aside to allow him to face the winner of the Ruiz Joshua rematch. So Fury has said that Deontay Wilder is terrified and that he wouldn't step aside unless they pay him a hell of a lot of money. So I'm going to quote the Gypsy King directly here. He said, and I'm, you know, I'm going to censor what he's saying here for the sake of YouTube. You guys can read it from the screen. Uh, he said, Deontay Wilder is a docile and he knows it. I see all that stuff about how he wants me to step aside. Step aside to what? He's terrified of the Gypsy King. He couldn't beat the Gypsy King when I had three years out the ring on alcohol and drugs. How the F is he going to beat the Gypsy King now that I've been training for two years? Come on. Depends how much they want to pay me because I ain't stepping aside. That's not quite how it works. And it is very costly work. So yeah, he goes on to say, F Deontay Wilder. <laughs> I don't really care what Wilder says. I'm not interested in what Wilder says or any of these bo or what any of these boxing bums say. So those are the words of the Gypsy King. Says he's not stepping aside unless they pay him a hell of a lot of money. It really is all about the money. And I can't blame Tyson Fury in that instance. If he has a contract to face Wilder and Wilder would be breaking that contract by not going through the fight and taking on the... Uh, AJ Ruiz winner instead, then yeah, Fury is absolutely right to do what he's doing and block that unless they're going to pay him a crazy amount. Because essentially, what Deontay Wilder is trying to do is leapfrog Tyson Fury for, you know, fighting for all those belts. Yeah, let's say Ruiz beats AJ again, particularly if Ruiz beats AJ. Don't you think Tyson Fury is going to want that Ruiz fight? Of course he is. Okay. So if Tyson Fury uh, fights Deontay Wilder, he's almost certainly going to get that Ruiz fight or he's going to be in a better position to get that Ruiz fight. Yeah. If Ruiz is a uh, unified champion still by then, you know, if he beats Wilder. So, but if Wilder gets the jump on him, you don't know what can happen. You know, if Wilder fights Ruiz, let's say it's a really good fight. They might run it back again. You know, Wilder and Maurice might, might run it back for the Undisputed. And Tyson Fury might get frozen out for a little bit. So, to compensate himself for the, the, the risk of that happening, can't blame Tyson Fury for wanting a hell of a lot of money. <laughs> you know what I mean? To do that. So, we'll see what happens here. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Now, as far as is Deontay Wilder scared of a Gypsy King? I don't think he's scared. But I think he is wary, you know, or maybe a level down from scared because that first fight was very difficult for Deontay Wilder. There's no question about it. Very, very difficult fight for him. He thought that he could catch Tyson Fury when he was weak. Tyson Fury is now a lot stronger. He's a lot sharper. He's more match fit. Although, you know, these little runouts that he's been having, I mean, the Tom Schwartz, that wasn't a real fight. We'll see how many rounds Otto Wallen can take him on a weekend. Hopefully he can take him a few rounds because he, he needs rounds, Tyson Fury. I know he's sparring and all this kind of stuff, but you really ideally want the rounds in a professional fight. Uh, but either way, he's in a better place right now than he was going into the first Wilder fight. So Wilder's cognizant of that. He knows Fury's a risk. Despite all the stuff Wilder's talking about, saying Fury's scared and this, that, and the other, Fury is not scared Fury's a businessman. Fury is all about the money. <laughs> Despite what he said in the past, that's what it is with him, you know? And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about all the points I've raised in this video. It's happening, I'm out.